All right, today we're gonna be replacing the lights on the trailer. It definitely needs new lights. And I have a helper today. So these lights are all broken to the old style. We're just gonna swap these out with some new LED ones. Unfortunately, we're gonna to have to replace the wiring at the same time, because the wiring is all broken. Oh, oh no. So we're gonna do all that at the same time. <laughs> just so happens, I have a 7 16ths in my bag, so we're gonna use that to take these apart. Do you wanna help me? Uh, okay. Okay. We're help. gonna loosen these nuts. Actually, this is a little bit rusted, so this wow, will come right up. I see red, I see the light inside. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Why? Because the light is falling out. All right, you wanna help me do the other one? Mm -hmm. All right, push that down. Wedge down. Like this. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, now try with your fingers. Take the little nut off. Uh, this uh -huh. can't do it. Well, stuck still. There, now try. You should be able to do it now. There you go. Nope, that's tighten. The other way. Yep. Keep going until it comes all the way off. Almost there. Almost, almost got it. I almost got it. Is it stuck? No. Look. Yeah? It's going off. You're doing it. I, don't, I think you should do it now. Okay, I'll do the last Come little bit. On. Direct from Taiwan with the uh, side markers which you need for a trailer of this size. Okay, can we keep the bubble wrap? <laughs> you can keep the bubble wrap, yeah, sure. Do you want to help me with this part? Yeah. Okay, just straighten this out. Now we're going to bring it back this way, okay? I'm going to run it under the trailer. I'll just go the same way that they had the other one run. Which is just stapled underneath the bed. Alright. Now that we got this all to length, gonna pull the slack back to here and we are on the right side of the vehicle the right side gets brown and green oh. yellow and brown is for the other side okay so I made a pretty serious mistake when I started working on this trailer I ordered these tail lights it doesn't seem like it's that big a deal but it was uh, so I ordered two tail lights um, that have the tail light and the turn signal on them and uh, I was just gonna put one on one side and flip the other one upside down, put it on the other side, but uh, they're not reversible. Um, because the one that goes on the other side has another light on the bottom for lighting up the license plate. So if you don't have this one, if you don't light up your license plate, it's not legal. Um, yeah, so I had to return that one and buy the right one, and it just came today. So now I'm gonna finish this project that I started a couple weeks ago uh, with the right part. It always helps to have the right part and the right tools. So as is frequently the case, my big box store was out of the correct size of terminals that I need. So this is a little overkill. So I'm gonna have to make do with what I have here. I've got my soldering iron out uh, to solder this thing in place. Just gonna have to try to make this work. I've got three of them to do. I'm gonna put these little lugs on here for ground. So they're the, the two grounds for the lights themselves and then the one for the main coming from the vehicle. And they'll be attached through the chassis. I'm gonna solder them all up at once. So it looks like somebody just cut this with a torch. So before I put this back on, 
I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because that's where my ring is gonna rest for my ground. So I'm just gonna file this with a file, make sure it's nice and clean. That's probably good enough if I can get out there. Alright, so we'll try it. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Let's stick it out here like this. Big surprise after all that filing, these bolts fit on here a lot better. Alright, so I decided to actually solder these leads together, which is way overkill for <laughs> most applications, but I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like things to come apart once I put them together, so I'm going to make sure that this is not going to come apart. Of course, I'm just going to prep these a little bit. I don't know what kind of wire this is. Not really copper colored, so the other one took solder really well, but we'll see how this one does. I'm only trying to get this to stay long enough to get it to solder. Once it's soldered, it won't come apart. Alright, so this is the left side light. It has the uh, trailer license plate light. The other one does not have. Done. One down. One more. I do have a heat shrink gun, but my inverter will not power it. So I'm going to have to wait to actually try to shrink these until I'm somewhere near an outlet with the trailer. Not that big a deal. It gets really hot here anyway. Probably will get hot enough to shrink the heat shrink tubing. same thing to the other side. Just file this off. Well, this is a lot more slag than the other one did. This is the license plate holder bracket. I guess that does kind of work. Feed that through there. And I can uh, touch the wire. 
ground. And the other two leads are already done. Alright, now we're going to take a staple gun and staple up this excess wire to the bottom side of the trailer.